Strong men don't compromise, it is said, and principles should never be compromised. The greatest astonishment of my life was the discovery that the man who does the work is not the man who gets rich. The best time to expand is when no one else dares to take risks. People who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity, no matter how impressive their other talents. The secret of success lies not in doing your own work, but in recognizing the right man to do it. There is no use whatsoever in trying to help people who do not help themselves. Success is the power to acquire whatever one demands of life without violating the rights of others. The men who have succeeded are men who have chosen one line and stuck to it. Show me a man of average ability but extraordinary desire and I'll show you a winner every time. Here is the prime condition of success. Concentrate your energy, thought and capital exclusively upon the business in which you are engaged. Having begun on one line, resolve to fight it out on that line, to lead in it, adopt every improvement, have the best machinery and know the most about it. A man's reading program should be as carefully planned as his daily diet, for that too is food, without which he cannot grow mentally. Watch the costs and the profits will take care of themselves. It is not the rich man's son that the young struggler for advancement has to fear in the race for life, nor his nephew, nor his cousin. Let him look out for the dark horse in the boy who begins by sweeping out the office. Success can be attained in any branch of labor. There's always room at the top in every pursuit. Don't be content with doing only your duty. Do more than your duty. It's the horse that finishes a neck ahead that wins the race. There is a power under your control that is greater than poverty, greater than the lack of education, greater than all your fears and superstitions combined. It is the power to take possession of your own mind and direct it to whatever ends you may desire. Instead of the question, what must I do for my employer, substitute, what can I do? I choose free libraries as the best agencies for improving the masses of the people because they give nothing for nothing. They only help those who help themselves. No man will make a great leader who wants to do it all himself or get all the credit for doing it. The more difficult a problem becomes, the more interesting it is. The man of business knows that only by years of patient, unremitting attention to affairs can he earn his reward, which is the result not of chance, but of well-devised means for the attainment of ends. The older I get, the less I listen to what people say and the more I look at what they do. Do not look for approval except for the consciousness of doing your best. Concentrate your energy, thought and capital exclusively upon the business in which you are engaged. Don't put all your eggs in one basket is all wrong. I tell you, put all your eggs in one basket and then watch that basket. Anything in life worth having is worth working for. Take away my people, but leave my factories and soon grass will grow on the factory floors. Take away my factories, but leave my people and soon we will have a new and better factory.
You cannot push anyone up a ladder unless he be willing to climb a little himself. Be king in your dreams. Make your vow that you will reach that position with untarnished reputation and make no other vow to distract your attention. There is scarcely an instance of a man who has made a fortune by speculation and kept it. Teamwork appears most effective if each individual helps others to succeed, increasing the synergy of that team. Ideally, every person will contribute different skills to increase the efficiency of the team and develop its unity. Capitalism is about turning luxuries into necessities. It marks a big step in your development when you come to realize that other people can help you do a better job than you could do alone. What one does easily, one does well. There are two types of people who never achieve very much in their lifetimes. One is the person who won't do what he or she is told to do, and the other is the person who does no more than he or she is told to do. One great cause of failure of young men in business is lack of concentration. You develop millionaires the way you mine gold. You expect to move tons of dirt to find an ounce of gold, but you don't go into the mine looking for the dirt, you go in looking for the gold. Do your duty and a little more and the future will take care of itself. Private property, the law of accumulation of wealth and the law of competition. These are the highest results of human experience, the soil in which society so far has produced the best fruit. I wish to have as my epitaph, here lies a man who was wise enough to bring into his service men who knew more than he. The average person puts only 25% of his energy and ability into his work. The world takes off its hat to those who put in more than 50% of their capacity and stands on its head for those few and far between souls who devote 100%. The first man gets the oyster, the second man gets the shell. Any person can achieve greatness if they understand the philosophy of success and the steps required to achieve it. He that cannot reason is a fool, he that will not is a bigot, he that dare not is a slave. The man who acquires the ability to take full possession of his own mind may take possession of anything else to which he is justly entitled. Every act you have ever performed since the day you were born was performed because you wanted something. 90% of all millionaires become so through owning real estate. More money has been made in real estate than in all industrial investments combined. The wise young man or wage earner of today invests his money in real estate. Concentrate your energy, your thoughts and your capital. A library outranks any other one thing a community can do to benefit its people. It is a never-failing spring in the desert. I am no longer cursed by poverty because I took possession of my own mind and that mind has yielded me every material thing I want and much more than I need. But this power of mind is a universal one, available to the humblest person as it is to the greatest. The law which is never to be broken is never required. I believe that the road to preeminent success in any line of work is to make yourself master of that line of work. The secret of happiness is renunciation. 
I spent the first half of my life making money and the second half of my life giving it away to do the most good and the least harm. There is no way of making a business successful that can vie with the policy of promoting those who render exceptional service. I don't believe in God. My God is patriotism. Teach a man to be a good citizen and you have solved the problem of life. There is not such a cradle of democracy upon the earth as the free public library, this republic of letters where neither rank, office nor wealth receives the slightest consideration. The problem of our age is the proper administration of wealth so that the ties of brotherhood may still bind together the rich and poor in harmonious relationship. Thought-provoking quotes have the power to inspire us. Which quote from the video resonated with you the most? Let me know in the comments below.